is a pleasure to meet the Seeds Breaker. Especially here, in a land where pleasure has been all too rare. I am Sidon the Outcast, Prince in Exile of the House of Sorrows. I'm here to welcome you to our home. I see the hesitation in your eyes. Although I am Fey of the Winter Court, you and I have a common enemy. I am Sidon the Outcast. Once, I was Prince of the House of Sorrows, but my true duties are to the true Court of Winter. The Winter Fey have been disgraced and despoiled by Gadflow and the two Arthur. With your help, I can end their reign. Clearly, I'm not to Arthur. I carry a loathing for them that mortals could never understand. I simply approached your lines peacefully and expressed my desire to speak with the Siege Breaker. It seems that even the simplest mortal soldier can recognize an ally against our mutual enemy. You shouldn't. The Winter Fay knows that trust is a weakness. But sometimes, an alliance is necessary. You accomplished a great feat here. But the Tuatha de Own are far from defeated. I can offer my aid in your campaign. You'll find my companions and me at Foe's Hearth to the east. We can speak more there. I'd rather not talk here. Cluricon is filled with Tuatha spies. Travel to the old ruins at Foe's Hearth. We'll meet you inside and we can talk there. Be careful. These swamps can be... You go ahead. It's been some time since Sidon and I had a chance to talk. Indeed, Agar. I hear on the winds that you laid down your sword and drowned yourself in drink when you learned the ways of fate. And yet here you are, sword in hand, again the victor. How is this? Do the winds lie to me? It's a long tale. It started when I sobered up long enough to go bury a friend of mine in Alistar Tower. Or rather, that's what I had planned to do. Winter is strong in this place. When first the Fey walked into its depths, it bore great fossils, bones of beasts greater and more terrifying than we Fey. But for all their strength, the earth at their feet lasted longer. It sapped their strength, their life, their flesh. waited some time for you to come, Siege Breaker, and it seems that my patience has, at least, been worthwhile. The House of Sorrows has need of your might. Aid us, and you will earn a strong ally in the war against the Tuatha Deon. 
Like your Alfar allies, we Winterfey suffer under the Tuatha's onslaught. And like the Alfar, we Winterfey need a champion. But it is a difficult position we are in, mortal. The Fey are not like your kind. We have different priorities, different threats. We need someone who understands that. It is not a simple task I ask of you. I have only approached you because you show the potential of use. You must still prove your worth. Go to the Midden and find the place called the Proving Halls. This hearthstone will grant you access. Once you are within the halls, my questions will be answered. Hmm. It is agreeable to see you, Siegebreaker. Cluricon can be inhospitable at times, as the Tuatha have learned. <laughs> We've made sure of it. So I did. We are the bitter frost, the last few remnants of free winter fay. We have refused to bend knee to Gadflow or his god. Our numbers are few. But we have fought our kin as best we can. The once noble houses of sorrow, pride, and vengeance have all fallen under Gadflow's sway. Until they're freed, the Tuatha's ranks will continue to swell with the faithful. Blind him. Cut out his tongue. Draw the venom from our land. Only then will we be able to begin to strike at Alabastra. The Tuatha have built Prismere chantries across Cluricon. From here, Gadflow rallies the faithful, preaches the word of Tirnok, and corrupts our land. Destroy these chantries and disrupt Gadflow's ability to infect its land. Without Gadflow to guide them, the Tuatha in Cluricon will be disorganized and scattered. When this is done, we'll take you to Ventrinio. He can help you breach Alabastra. There are three of them to the south and east. Kill their guards, then smash their crystals and be done with them. Gadflow will try to stop you, but it's just a harmless projection. He can't hurt you. At least, not directly. Go now. Break so few of the winter court left to stand against me.
Faithful, a child of dust is here for death. Grant them his wish. Fear not what is only blesses you with her unyielding reign. No longer shall we tolerate the mortals and their vile presence in our world. Undying mortal from the well has returned. Your mere existence is an abomination against all things. How can you not see this? A child of dust who lives after death. A creature separated from your fate. A being with neither purpose nor reason. You were a mistake. Way mortals found to pervert the world. Soon you shall be cleansed from my lands. <laughs> Thank you. 
Stole the secrets of magic. And now they come to take our land. Not at all that they find here shall be death. <laughs> of a simple army. How will you fare, I wonder, against the power of a god? Of course you aren't. You may be a foolish, unclean sin against the natural order, but I'll grant that you're no coward. The only solution is for you to be cleansed when Tiernok the Merciful comes to our world. Soon.
to stand against Tiernok? Strike him down and salt the earth of his grave. Nothing may live, lest Tiernok commands it. <laughs> Try as you might. Struggle as you will, you are deluded. There is no winning for you. Only death. Yes. But death as you define it means little to us. The great cycle returns each to Arthur as to Arthur again. And every time they do, Tiernok gets stronger. Soon... She will be born into this world. You will witness her power personally, and it will be the last thing your mortal flesh shall ever feel. Flo's voice has fallen silent in this land. The Tuatha are frightened and disorganized. They run back to Alabastra to make their final stand. 
We owe you much. Our eyes are opened and our blades unsheathed. Cluricon is won, but the House of Pride stands between us and the final goal. We are now free to press forward, and I can take you to an old friend who knows the next step. Yes, we will take you to his filthy tower on the island of Danistar. He hides within and has not emerged in some time. I would like nothing more than to let him rot there. But he knows of a way past the Sentinel of the House of Pride. But there will be more danger on the path ahead. Take these blades to prepare for whatever troubles you will face at his tower or beyond. Far to the southwest. There is a darkened tree by the Caled coast. Meet me there, and we can walk the shadow to the gnome's tower. Aelin Shear will be waiting there. She was most insistent to join in whatever business you have with the Collector of the Dead. Meet me at the Caled coast. The Winter Fae no We will meet again at the shadowed tree on the Caled coast. Flow will pay for the corruption of the... 